Hey everyone. Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, so I spent a little time building up the area where I'm going to establish my east. Never eight, soggy. My southeast tower. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, so that's one corner right there. Let me just make my way to the other one. And here it is. Yeah, they're all going to be this big. The only reason that I have uh, more than one side for each, uh, for this one rather, is because I've been able to grind up more cobblestone because it's cobblestone. Cobblestone is found everywhere in the world instead of, you know, wherever it feels like. So it can be everywhere. That's why most people choose to build with it. I, however, have just decided to do something else. Now these are just, you know, burnt cobblestone. They come from cobblestone. Oops. And for whatever reason, I build one of these towers like pretty much every new Minecraft world. I don't know what it is about them. Just, they're both huge and they are made with stone bricks. Um, in many cases, I often actually use... Beep. That's irritating. Don't have an even amount of stone bricks. That's fine. I can use it to replace some divots. So I fought off a bunch of uh, phantoms. And then got sick of fighting phantoms. So I actually... Oops. So I actually set the difficulty to peaceful, but just for a single night. I was just sick of seeing them everywhere. All right, there we go. Um, I gave up a couple stacks of my gravel. Yeah, like half my gravel to fill this water over here it was really annoying but I'm also sad that I've lost my gravel now granted I could just go get it back and I will do that but later because right now I don't have good tools but yeah until then I'm just going to leave all this stuff here because I will be back for it And I'll just use this to replace my divots. I also um, covered a lot of this in dirt. You can see a lot of it here. And it is already growing back, which is good. So, yeah. Beep. Hip. Oh, Lord. A minute back into non-peaceful and I'm already starving myself. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the last tower. And then I can finally start heading back home. For these, I'm kind of envisioning like, because they're all going to be 64 by 64 and they're going to go to block limit. Yeah, seriously. Um, this is why I was like, yeah, I'm going to grind off screen for this. Because like, come on. I might actually uh, get a beacon start plunking it down places like in the center of the uh in the center of the tower that would be cool some point i'm also going to need to cut a door in the tower yeah i've cleaned out my inventory which is nice get you going oh geez there's a lot of sugar cane I don't need to grow all of it, but I will help. Um, as far as I know, to my knowledge, the more sugarcane there is, the slower it grows. And I believe it has a cap 
Like it can't grow higher than four. Um, so I usually just try to plant sugar cane to make sure that I always have sugar and, you know, paper wherever I go. Because that way, it'll always be growing no matter where I am. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the plan. Do I actually have enough andesite? No, I don't. All right, then I'll go to that place and I'll build a big tower. Andesite's the one I have the least of, oddly enough. Yeah, no andesite. Crazy. Well, now that's just rude. Ugh. They got you, huh? Oh boy. This is a this is a ways out. Now, this is partially just because I haven't um, dug very deep in the earth. One typically has to go to level 14 to find them, but I actually haven't found diamonds yet. And diamonds are the key to me getting enchantments and better gear. Um, in this series, I would like to... Ooh, new moon. I would like to actually have... Uh, diamond armor like full diamond armor maybe not the chest to save room for an elytra looked up what that is when i was uh fighting phantom membranes good job sugarcane i could place these down actually help light my path Yeah, I've never had full diamond armor. It's always felt so wasteful. Oops, excuse me, everyone. Fool, you've only just sent me further. Uh, she... Oh. Where's my sword? I know exactly where my sword is. Or what happened to it. I threw it on the ground so I could pick up some more stuff. And then even though I had space in my inventory, I forgot to pick it up. Oh, man. All right. Guess we're just going to do this with an axe. Looks like setting the time to uh, setting the difficulty to peaceful does not reset their aggro. When you come back, there's just as many. They really give you a chance to predict them, I think. I forgot about him. That was foolish of me. Right. I usually do my best to replace my divots, but uh, in instances like that, I would just rather have it be flat to the ground. I've never liked leaving holes in the world. Like, okay, I'm going that way. Like, just leave in vacuous spaces. Go ahead, shoot me in the back. I don't care. Oh, it's you, huh? They burn up in the uh, sunlight, just like the m most of the monsters do, but I've never seen them drop anything when they do that. So, 
I suppose I may as well just kill him old style. I'm saying that a lot. It's from like a 10-year-old meme video, I think. It's from that like Duke Nukem mic spam thing. Pump. Heck yeah, pump. Ooh, Lorva. Lava's good. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put Nether portals up at all the towers, because um, if you don't know this, Minecraft has multiple dimensions. Oh, the sound the spiders make is gross. It's so much grosser than it used to be. Minecraft has multiple dimensions. One of them is the, the Nether. It's a place full of lava. But the Nether's weird for a couple of reasons. It's actually l sm smaller, I think, than the normal world than the dimensions of the normal world yes die trash it's smaller than the normal world so time traveled in the nether is actually faster like if you move eight blocks in the nether you'll move 64 in the real world i think if i remember at least whoa that's a ravine I'm like a vampire. Like, you know how you can defeat vampires by leaving, like, sesame seeds on the ground and they gotta count the seeds or whatever? Putting a rope on the ground, or a net, rather, so they have to untangle it. That's me. I'm a slave to my OCD. Oh, man, they just keep building up, huh? Just more and more of them. Every night, huh? Until I go to sleep. Joke's on you. I have insomnia. Oh, there's another one. They're like roaches. All right, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. The problem is that there's so many of them and they spawn so quickly that I can never tell when I've actually killed one all right i just keep moving along ah, i shouldn't have taken that hit my arm is getting a little dented I keep taking hits shouldn't do that Let's see if you guys drop anything different. Do you drop like emeralds? Because that'd be cool. Do I know that village? I don't think I do. The one I know is near the center of the map because it's by the giant... Oh boy, there's more. The one I know near is near the center of the map because it's by the giant pillar in the middle. So that has to be a different one then. Which is intriguing. Because that means that I can set up a base here to um, get some goodies out of the villagers. Oh. Oh, sugar. Will you... Oh, jeez, guys. Ooh, a church. Why don't we rag it here? There's like six of them. I see four now, but I think there's more. The light of day will banish you. <gasps> oh, 
I could have walked backwards into that. Yes, 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 die. Good. That was an eventful night. Hello there, sir. All right. Ooh. What's this? Lectern. I don't need that right now. I do need these. Sorry. Had to be done. Can't be helped. Who are you, sir? Novice. 22 in a book for Lure 3. Interesting. Ooh, lots of libraries here. That's good. I've seen crazy things that people have done with villagers in Minecraft. Like, they've used elaborate minecart systems to cart them away from their homes. 32... Wow, that's not too bad. Carrots. Potatoes. Another brewing stand. Nice. It's good to know that if I need to move, I can move and I'll still even be within the... Uh... Nice. Nice. Got to get them emeralds. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. So you can sell zombie flesh to clerics and they give you money. It's kind of odd. I guess it's... Oh, hey, guys. Are you cool with that being right next to your town? Because if you are, you know... That's fine. I guess he wants a carrot, huh? All right. Wow, all right, cool. So, good to know. Um, I should plunk down a portal here at some point. I want to get, like, a network going. Like, I imagine across this map, when it's actually full, I'll be able to just throw down portals on every side. Like, essentially split it into, like, three by three, grid of nine. And just put portals, like, at important places in the in the spaces. And then I'll have a little portal network connected up. All right. I'm getting to where the tower goes. I've had an eventful day. I'm just, this is an episode in and of itself. It's been a long day. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Minecraft. <laughs>